Hey guys, welcome to another awesome tutorial where I'm going to show you how to make awesome things using 3D printing and SolidWorks. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take something, take two things and make them awesome. One, an engine. Two, a sword. Match it together, you get one of these. This is themed off the engine sword from Final Fantasy. Um, very cool kind of different kind of sword. Um, the idea of this project was to show you how to make something big. Uh, I had to scale this down due to time constraints with the printer and use metal rods to strengthen this up so that you can actually wobble about and it won't snap. Let's get straight into how I made this awesome sword. This is a fairly simple build. Um, followed simple images to get the shapes that I wanted, extruded them. Uh, nothing too complicated in the end. When it came to cutting it up, I cut it into sections that would fit my print bed. The middle sphere I split into six parts so that each, so that there is a flat edge to print on every single part. Uh, I've designed every piece here to print support free. So all the pieces are printed now. Um, what I did is I actually shrunk a lot of the pieces, uh, all of the pieces down half scale. The reason why is because the printing would have taken way too long once the time schedule that I have. Um, but it works perfectly fine. All it all it really meant was the holes that I had created here for a two for a five millimeter threaded rod. I just need to use a two point five millimeter threaded rod, which I've got purpose of this hole is just to hold it all together sturdily and I use a threaded rod because the glue can get in between the threads and the layers holding it in place a lot better. So without further ado it's time to assemble this beast.
painting this, I decided to start off with a grey primer base coat. Um, just to cover the entire um, surface area a lot easier with spray painting. This is the easiest way to do it. With 3D printed parts, they are very, very easy to spray paint. You just need some basic uh, primer and then use. you can paint over that a lot easier. Um, this can also allow you to cover larger surface areas and uh, finish your props a lot quicker. Now that the grey is dried, basically I'm going to paint these tiny little circles and this triangle over here in black. Um, that's only real detail that's really needed on this. So let's do that. There is a problem that I did encounter when printing this, um, a thing that's called a Y wobble. What a Y wobble is, is when the printer, the Y axis moves forward and backwards. That's the Y axis. When it moves forward and backwards, if the belt is not tight enough, when it does stop, it kind of wobbles while the printer's moving. And this gives this wavy pattern. As you can see in these images, those edges are supposed to be straight and they ended up wobbling. So to fix this error, I 3D printed a belt tensioner. I will show you that in a future video where I'll show you how you can use 3D printing to replace household items and to fix simple little things that could end up costing you a lot more. So look out for that one. Back to the sword. I think it came out really well, even though there is a bit of the Z wobble, no, the Y, no Y wobble, the Y wobble. On it, I think it still looks great. So here's this awesome sword from Final Fantasy. Um, I really enjoyed building this. This was a mechanical kind of think about it. You know, how am I gonna, you know, put it together? You know, this for me was a puzzle. I love puzzles. So the great thing about 3D printing a sword like this is that you can take a very high detailed sword like this into a Comic Con or a convention for your cosplay. Because it's plastic, they will allow it in. And because you use 3D printing, you get all the awesome details that you couldn't get with other conventional uh, cosplay and prop making techniques, unless you're willing to spend a lot of money. So this is classed as con safe. And that's what makes it so awesome. So you can take these into, into your Comic Cons. Well, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this one. I hope you learned a lot from it. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below where I can answer them and help you out as best I can. And thank you very much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bing, shwing, shwing, bing. Run, 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 run